Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of Madden 16 here on the PS4 and this connected franchise, the Green Bay Packers franchise here on ESGN Net. And now we're getting ready for a week four here in episode four as we take on the 49ers who are currently 0-3 right now and are kind of hurting right now as they have uh, no quarterback right now. That being uh, Colin Kaepernick, he's going to be out for a couple weeks for a broken toe. So Blaine Gabbert will have to take on the reins here as the general of the 49ers. So it's going to be a late game there. You see a 415 game, and we'll see what we can do here against them in this week for matchup. So looking at the injury report, there you see Jordy Nelson going to be out for at least 12 more weeks here, as you see there. And as for the 49ers, there you see their, uh, their uh, issues right there. You see Kors, uh, Kaepernick, uh, there you see a broken toe there. Four weeks, they say, for him. Uh, and he's going to be out uh, this, until then. So, Blaine Gabbert will have to be in charge of the uh, throwing this week. As you see there, the Packers are currently 3-0 and here in the uh, NFC North Division. There you see the Vikings and Bears and Lions all tied up here with a 2 and one record right there. So a pretty tight race here in the uh, first th four weeks here in this season there in the division. Of course, in the NFC West, there you see the Rams 2-1, uh, and one, Cardinals 2-1. and one. Uh, Seahawks still hurting right now as, uh, of course, they don't have uh, Russell Wilson there. And they are 0-3. Uh, and, and, of course, the 49ers don't have Kaepernick. And they're also 0-3. So the two hot teams right now, uh, or in years past, the hot teams, Seahawks and 49ers, are hurting right now. So here we go. Uh, here in California, Sarah Clara, California, new stadium here, Levi Stadium, a great venue. Of course, uh, they just uh, held the uh, WWE uh, Summer uh, WrestleMania there just a couple years ago. I know, different sport, but still, uh, I'm a big fan. So uh, it's nice to see the new stadium here in the game. There you see Coach McCarthy getting ready for this matchup here. There you see Blaine Gabbert, 5 of 17, 51 yards so far for him, no touchdowns. And we'll see what kind of pressure we can put on him this week. There you see our guy right there, 978 uh, yards there, five touchdowns for him. And he is looking pretty good here. 3 0, and last week was shut out when it comes to touchdowns. And of course, he is eager to get back in the end zone here with some recep uh, pass, uh, passing touchdowns this week. There you see Randall Cobb getting ready for this bad kickoff here. Phil Dawson getting ready to kick off. There you see his numbers there. So you see there, 978 yards, five touchdowns, three interceptions there for Aaron Rodgers. And like I said, great year so far. First and 10 here for the Packers. Here they're going to hand off to Eddie Lacy. Lacy will uh, t break off two tackles, three tackles, four tackles before he's finally tackled there at the 33-yard line. And that's going to make now a second and four uh, pro issue here for the Packers. So now third and inches here. They're going to see Rodgers in eye formation here. He's going to see, he's going to hand off here to, looks like to uh, Con there. He'll get that one, and it will be a first down. Nice job there as they are available to convert. Nice job as he gets about two yards on that play. First and 10 here for the Packers here. Ball in 39-yard line here. Lacey running here. He'll get up the middle there, and he will get tackled, and he will tackle for a gain. And we'll see here a replay. Nice job. He keep moving his feet there. Second and seven now here. Ball in the 42-yard line here. Rodgers going to try to get a rhythm going here. We'll see here. He'll pass right there. Nice pass play there. You see Cobb muscles way out of that tackle there. He does and gets pushed out there at the 45-yard line here. First and 10 for the Packers as they are able to move the ball now. First or second now, second and 10 now here for the Pack. As we'll see here, Rodgers, he'll drop back. Look, and oh, he will get tackled there. That will be a sack, that first sack of the game. We'll see the replay here. Bowman comes in there and just bum rushes Rodgers. So now third and 15 here for the Packers here. Rodgers calling a different play here, and he's going to drop back. Get out of the pocket uh, a little bit there. He's going to throw down the middle there, but that one will get battled away there. Nice defensive stop there from the Pat, or from the 49ers there as Brock gets in there and is able to deny Le Cobb there on that uh, pass play right there. So we'll see the replay there. Nice defensive stop there. Clean 
And a great job there from uh, the defensive player there. So Blaine Gabbert, former Jaguar, now a uh, 49er now here. I believe this is his uh, second season with them. First and 10 here for him. He's going to have to take the reins here today. And oh, nice play right there from Raji. Getting a good stop there. A stop uh, on Hyde there as he gets stopped there and lost a two yard. Now, third and one here for the 49ers here. We'll see here what they can do in I formation here. Hyde there, your tailback. McDonald in motion here. They're going to have to hand off to Hyde there. Hyde will get denied there. And that's going to be a fourth and one problem there for them as Perry gets in there and puts a stop to Hyde. So now they punt the ball here. We get the ball at the 20-yard line here. First and 10 here for the Packers here. Rodgers looking around, throwing deep to uh, to uh, Lacey there. Lacey breaks off a tackle, but then it gets uh, finally does get wrapped up there at the 45-yard line. First and 10 there for the Green Bay Packers. Now football on the 45-yard line here. First and 10 for the Packers. He's throwing. Uh, Rodgers looking, trying to throw this one high and deep. He does a nice catch right there for Cobb as Cobb is able to get that catch there. That's a first down there for Rodgers and the Packers here. The ball at the 41-yard line. We'll see the replay here. And Cobb goes up there, catches that one with one hand with no problem. Here you go. See the replay a little closer there. Nice job. And that will be a first down. First and 10 now here. Ball on the 41-yard line here for the Packers here. We'll see here. Looks like maybe a pass play here as Rodgers has Cobb in motion here. Rodgers dropping back. Gets out of the pocket there. Looks. Fires. Throws right there. But that's going to be an incomplete pass there. For whatever reason, the receiver there, Rodgers, could not, the tight end there, could not catch that one. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. Now, second and 10 now for the Packers here. Rodgers trying to get this ball down the field here. It looks like some ways he's trying to force it down the field. Ball on the 41-yard line. He'll drop back. He'll look. He's uh, looking around here. He'll catch. Nice throw there to Cobb. Cobb will go in there. He'll try to run in there. And he'll get pushed out at the 8-yard line. Nice play there for Cobb. As there you see the yards after the catch. Run. Nice uh, play there. Gets about 19 yards. And we'll see here. And the run after the catch was great and really doing a good job fighting for that yardage there. First and 10 now. Eight ball in the eight yard line here. Eye formation for the Packers here. Looks like they're going to hand off to Lacey. Lacey finds a good hole there and does get a nice run there. About a gain of three there on that play. Now we go to third and goal here. Ball in the two yard line here. Looks like it's going to be another running play. He's going to try to run this one up the gut here. And we'll see here. Lacey, maybe his number getting called here. He does. He tries to run over here, and he will get tackled, and he will get in there. That will be a touchdown there for Eddie Lacey. Nice job as he gets in there. And that's his seventh of the season here. As uh, Excuse me, his eighth of the season there. As he gets his first touchdown uh, there for the day here. Nice job there for Eddie Lacey. So nice job there for him. We'll see a kick. It is up, and it is good. The extra point is good. Kazi gets in that one, and the score is now 7-0 here as we get ready to go into the second quarter here, just about a less than a uh, minute and a half here. Now we'll see the 49ers here. Ball on the 29-yard line here. Blaine Gabber gets wrapped up right there, trying to run, trying to call his own number there that time. That's a loss of four. Second and 14 there for the 49ers. We'll see the replay here. And they uh, seen that play, and they wrapped him up real good. Make sure he don't go nowhere. Now, third and 14 here now for the 49ers here. This is going to be a, you know, it's going to be a pass play here. They got to try to go deep here and try to get the yardage here. And that's going to be an incomplete pass. Almost a pickoff right there from the secondary of the Packers there. But Raji and company there on the line are able to get Gabbard and get him to run the ball here or try to force the ball there that time. First and 10 now, ball in the 34-yard line after the punt here from the 49ers here. Cobb in motion here. Hand, a fake handoff there to uh, Lacey. And there you see Cobb gets the catch there. Nice job there from Cobb as he gets the catch there and is able to get the first down. With nine seconds left here before the first end of the first quarter here, we'll see here. Rodgers dropping back. He's looking. He fires down the middle there. Nice job there from Jones as he gets the ball there and catches the ball at the 36-yard line there in 49ers territory. So now take a look here at the end of the first quarter. 
It is 7-0. Packers lead it here with a nice uh, pass play right there that we've seen from uh, that drive there. Uh, to cap off the drive course there from Eddie Lacy getting the, the rushing touchdown there. First and 10 now, ball in 36 yard line. They switch spots now, and we'll see here Rodgers dropping back. Fake handoff there to Lacy. He'll pass there. Nice pass play there to Jones, who gets in there and is able to get the yardage there they need. Got the ball now at the 12 yard line, and the Packers are wanting more now. So we'll see the replay here, and we'll see here Rodgers looking. Does a great job leading his court or his wide receiver there to where he needs to be at. And Jones snags that ball and takes it to uh, just a couple more yards. Getting that extra yardage there, fighting for that extra yardage there, and get a first down. First and 10 now, ball in the 12 yard line here. Hand off there to Lacey. Lacey gets in there and he will get a short gain of about three yards on that play. And they'll see here, or you see. Packers are liking what they are doing on uh, the rushing game, but so far they have not been able to stop this offense. So now, ball in the nine-yard line here. Second and seven here. Rodgers looks, fires, nice pass play right in there. Zips that one right in there as Rodgers, the tight end, gets in there and gets the ball. Nice touchdown as the uh, Packers are on the board again here. Score another one, this time in through the air from Aaron Rodgers to Richard Rodgers for that touchdown right there. And they are now up by two scores now, making now 13-0 uh, now, make that 14-0 with the extra point. And there you see the scoring drive, 65 yards there on that play. Five plays for two, two minutes and four seconds there for the Packers. So Packers doing a good job there on the time of possession and moving down the field. Now we'll see a false start player here. There's a flag there on the 49ers, a third and five. And it looks like it is against, no, actually it's against the Packers. It's encroachment there in the neutral zone. That's going to be a five-yard penalty. And they uh, they go ahead and give it third and inches there. So now here we go, third and inches, ball in the 30-yard line here. Packers are going to try to play some tight defense here. As they, yes, do a good job there getting to the line, uh, halfback back and stop him from going anywhere. Loss of three there as they are just eating this offensive lie here. You see Hyde trying to get out of the backfield but just cannot. And he will get wrapped up there. And no problem there from Clayton uh, Dixon there. So we'll see here. Uh, we'll see the uh, punt here for the for, uh, from the 49ers here as we'll see a good ki uh, good punt off here. You see now uh, Cobb has got some wide open now here. All he has is one guy to get away from, but he cannot as he gets a good punt return here. Puts him at the 42-yard line there in 49ers territory here. And we'll see here Aaron Rodgers just being highlighted here, showing with all the great passing he's done here today. Got that one touchdown there. Great pass there we've seen there towards the end of the first quarter there to Cobb. And, of course, throwing also to Lacey there, who's done a great job there, both on the ground and through the air. And, of course, the one touchdown so far from Rodgers, getting that ball there to Richard Rodgers for that touchdown. So now ball the 42-yard line here. First and 10 here for the Packers here. Hand off to uh, Lacey. Lacey does a good job there running there. He stumbles and gets the first down there. Ball at the 32-yard line there. Nice play there. For the Packers now third and ten here looks like Rodgers is going to try to go this one and he's going to try to get this one deep here as there's about six minutes left here in the second quarter here Rodgers going out of the pocket a little bit there throws that one right there and gets it to Richards there nice play as he connects again with the tight end there 160 yards passing so far here for the Packers now Ball on the 13-yard line here. Aaron Rodgers hands off to Eddie Lacy, and Lacy gets in there. Gets a nice gain of about eight yards there. We'll see the replay here. Good blocking there and good running there from the halfback. Now third, they go ahead and say actually give him seven yards on that play. So now second and three now here for the Packers here. And we'll see here uh, Rodgers throw that one in there, and that's going to be a touchdown, his second touchdown of the of this quarter here and nice job as you see he gets a second touchdown of the day and the first one of the day there for his uh, uh, for the uh, receiver out there 
Nice catch there as Rodgers is able to connect with his young receiver. We'll see the extra point, and the extra point is good. No problem there. As the Packers are now in the lead by three scores now, and it's not even close to halftime yet. They're here in Santa Barbara. So there you see, or Santa Clara, I should say. But there you see uh, the Packers now on defense here. Third and three here. A good try to stop them here. And we'll see here, Re uh, Hyde gets stopped there in the backfield there. Nice job from the Packers defense there, reading the run there. And Clayton Dixon gets in there. Ha ha, Dixon gets in there and gets that in there. Nice play there, nice stop from him and Clay Matthews. So good job there from those two players there on defense. Now first and goal, or first and ten here, ball in the two-yard line here, just underneath our own goal post here. Packers are trying to run this one out from the help from Lacey there, who gets a quick uh, three-yard gain there on that run. So now third and two here, still near our own goal post here, and we're going to try to see if we can try to run this one out and try to spread this field here as we'll go ahead and give it to Lacey there. Lacey gets out of there. He maneuvers around not once but twice with that spin there and gets into the uh, gets to the 19-yard line for the first down. So good run there. Now under a minute here, first and 10 here, give it to Khan this time. Khan's going to run this one, and he does. Nice run there for the fullback there. That is going to move now second and two here. Not moving chains, but able to move that ball there. So now second and two here. I formation once again. They're going to give it to Khan once again. Why not? He did a great job the last time. Let's see him do it again, and he does, and converts for the first down. So now 20 seconds left here in the court, in the ha first half here, and the Packers are just going to see if they can try to run this out and get come back in the second half with the ball. So we'll see here. The Packers go ahead and call a timeout and see if they're going to get one shot here, go down the field here, and they'll see what they can do here. So, it's going to look like it's going to be a play-action play. May possibly go to uh, Richard Rodgers. Rodgers going out of the pocket there, throwing to the tight end. A nice catch there for the tight end. He stays in bounds and is able to get uh, the first down. But time has expired there as this first half is over with. And we'll see here that the Packers lead it 21 to nothing here in Santa Clara against the 49ers here in Levi Stadium. So, so far, having a great first half here, and now they just got to build on to it now. And just take a look at the second half, or the first half stats here. So now, second 11 here for the 49ers. Blaine Gabbert trying to get out of the pocket there. Nice pass play right there to his tight end there. Tight end is going to take off there. He is booking, and he is down there by the 18-yard line. Nice cat, nice pass right there. 37 yards after uh, the, uh, reception yards there. And nice play there as Blaine Gabbert is able to get out of that maneuver out of the pocket, throw on, on the throw or throw on the run right there. Does a great job and is able to get in there for the first down. So nice play here as the 49ers are trying to make a game out of this here. They don't want to show the Packers that they're just going to roll over and not do anything. So first and 10 here, McDonald, nice play there from him. Let's see if they can add on to it. First and 10 here, top, uh, uh, first and 10. Ball on the 18-yard line here. Nice run right there for Hyde. They see 10 carries for 5 yards. Eee, not a good day for him. So now, 3rd and 10 here. Ball on the 18-yard line here. Packers are trying their best to not give them a touchdown here. Nice screen pass right there to Hyde. He gets a nice catch right there. He's going to get the ball to the 11-yard line. But it will be short of the third or the uh, markers there. And they will have to go for a field goal here. So now fourth and three, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. And the 49ers are on the board for the first time now with a score of three points. Now the score being 21-3 to three here, and they still got a lot of work to do here in this ball game. So for the most part, if uh, for the most part, this might, game might be gone right now for Blaine Gabbard, and all he has to do now is... It's just try to manage the game and keep this game where it's at, uh, especially for the defense here. As you see there, does a, does a great job there from uh, stopping. Get only at five yards in that play there. So now third and two for the Packers here. Ball on the 29-yard line, just under the five-half mark here in the game. 
Eddie Lacy runs this one, gets it in there. A nice run right there for Lacy as he gets a first down there. Nice run for him. There you see 63 yards for him in this ball game. First and 10 now. Ball in 37 yard line here. Packers. Uh, fake play, uh, fake uh, throw there. And play action, but that one gets batted away there from the defense there. Great job as uh, Bowman sees that ball and bats it away. Second and 10 now for the Packers here and Rodgers. Rodgers has Cobb in motion here. Ha fake handoff there. Rodgers looking around. He throws this one, this one to Jones, and Jones gets the catch there at the 33-yard line. Nice pass. Nice throw there. You see 223 yards, two touchdowns here for Rodgers. We'll take a look here at the replay here. And a well over 25 yards on that play right there. That's going to get them a first down, and they are definitely – in 49 territory here, as we'll see a first and 10 here. Ball in the 23 or 33 yard line here. Lacey finds a wide open space right here. He runs this one and muscles his way into getting just shy of the first down. He gets nine yards on that carry, and that's a first down. Third and one now here for the Packers. Ball in the 24 yard line here. We'll see their handoff to the fullback there, and Khan gets in there. Nice job there. As he converts for the first down and is able to move the chains. There you see four carries for him for 21 yards. And that's what you want to see from your fullback who can run like that. Now, just near the two-minute mark here in the third quarter here, Rodgers, he's looking. He fires this one up the middle there and no problem there for Adams as Adams gets in there. And that is a touchdown for the Packers. And the Packers now have a three-possession lead here. Leading it now. 27 to 3 with the extra point still pending. Nice job there for the pack to pack on more run or more points here in this ball game. I'm thinking of baseball right now. I'm getting ready to actually watch a baseball game here pretty soon here. But there you see the Packers put the extra point there and get a, another lead here as now 28 to 3. Nine plays, 77 yards on that drive there for the Packers. Now, third and four here for the 49ers here. They Blaine Gabbert drops way back and ends up throwing it away after he sees the pressure put upon him. Nice job there from Hayward and company putting that pressure on Blaine, uh, Blaine Gabbert there. Now, ball in the 21-yard line here. Packers get the ball back here after the punt, and there you see Eddie Lacy trying to run this one, and that will be a short gain of about four yards. Second and six now. With four seconds left here before we get to the fourth quarter. And we'll see Lacey runs this one. Nice run right there. And now he is wide open. He is going down the field. All he has now, him and the defender to get fend off. But the ball is dropped. It gets punched out of his hand there. And Lacey has to go back and tackle now. And he loses the ball. Now, we've seen this happen before. Back in week two, I believe, the ball was punched out. And he had a big run there. And he just couldn't hold on to the football. So that might be a concern that the, the coaching staff will have to talk to Lacey about. But the 49ers will get the ball at the 22-yard line on their own side of the field here. First and 10 here, Blaine Gabbert. He gets around. He gets away from that uh, that potential sack there. But nice interception there. Good job there as Hayworth gets in there and gets that ball there. Good pressure there from the uh, lineman out down there. And, and Hayworth taking advantage of that pressure. Nice job as Blaine Gabbert throws a pick there. And that's going to get the ball back to the 49ers or to the Packers here, as the 49ers had a great opportunity here after that uh, miscue there or that uh, blunder there from uh, their halfback Lacey. Now they get another shot there. So it's 122 yards there, six uh, carries there for Lacey Carlos Hyde. Not so much of a good game for him. So we'll see here. Starks gets the ball there. He'll run this one. That's going to be a gain. Of uh, just a few yards, but they say about two yards on that play, making it second and eight. Now third and eight here, ball in the 47-yard line here. We'll see them in I formation. Rodgers uh, holding on to the ball just a little bit longer. We'll see here, play action here. Rodgers looks down the field, throws to his tight end right there. Richard Rodgers gets this one, and there he's just muscling his way in there, breaking two tackles of fine and getting wrapped up there at the 20-yard line. He's now got 50 yard, over 50 yards now in the ball game here. Nice catch there for him 
as that was a, just a great run right there. He's just bulldozing guys left and right there and fighting for that extra yardage there. Nice play from him. And we'll see what the Packers can do. Now, Packers have a ball on the 20-yard line. Lacey has the ball. He gets wrapped up there and gets twisted around by the legs there. He loses a yard there by Bowman. It makes a second and 11. Now, third and 10 here for the Pack. We'll see what they can do. Rodgers, he's looking. He's dropping back. He's thinking about throwing to somebody. He throws into the lane there and tries to throw to too many uh, 49ers there as he tries to throw to Starks, I believe. And he coach is like, hey, Cobb was wide open. Why did you throw to him? But he tried to throw to Starks there in, in, there, in the coverage there. Not a good idea there, Rodgers. And we'll see a field goal here. The field goal is up, and the field goal is just missed there by Cosby as he's had a rough time with uh, field goals here as of late. He kicks that one, and that one just barely grazed the pole there, and it will be no good as it goes on the opposite side there. So there you see the offensive so far here, and of course Packers having the better offense today. Here we go. First and 10 here. Less uh, About 6.30 left here in the fourth quarter. Blaine Gabbert trying to throw this one high and deep. And that one will get picked off right there. Nice job as Clinton Dixon gets in there and gets an interception. And this right here, that interception might right be there. That might be the interception that will ice this game here for the 49ers there. As he picks that one off and tries to take it back for a pick six there. He reads the quarterback there and reads the ball and does a nice job of getting that catch there. So you see 15 of 22, 276 yards for Rodgers, 15 of, uh, 5 of 10, 92 yards for Blaine Gabbard. Ball in the 42-yard line here. They're going to hand off to Lacey. Lacey's going to get a good run here. That's going to be a gain of 10 there. Nice run there. There you see 131 yards today and only 19 carries compared to what he had last week. It was 22 carries, 60 yards. Now, first and 10 again for Lacey. He gets a nice little run there. That is a gain of two. And there you see 20 attempts, 133 yards there, averaging 6.6 .6 yards a carry. Third and eight here for the Packers. Uh, play action once again. They'll throw right there. And that one going to Jones. He'll catch, get that catch. And there will be a first down again there. For the Packers. So the Packers have the ball now at the 20 yard line here, really trying to milk this clock as much as possible. Second, and, or excuse me, first and 10 now for the Pack. We'll see Rodgers. He'll go out of the pocket here. He decides to call his own number. He's going to go down the field here and he's going to slide. Nice, good job from sliding there. Avoid that hit. He'll get an 11 yard gain on there. That's first rush of the day. Putting him and the Packers now at the 9 yard line. First down, they're going to move the chains. There you see the replay there. Rodgers cannot find anyone open. So the side screw it. I'll just do it myself. So now first and goal now for the Packers here. Ball on the nine-yard line here. Rodgers come up with another play here. I think he wants uh, Cobb to throw a go slant around. He does. Nice pass play right there. And a drive is completed here for Rodgers as Rodgers gets another touchdown here in this ball game here. Nice job throwing that one to Cobb. As Cobb and Rodgers are connecting again. Nice play. First and uh, another touchdown here. A first one for, I believe, for Cobb, I think, today. Or no, it might be Cobb's second. Uh, no, it's, it's his first. His first of the day there. And we'll see the extra point. And it is up. And it is good. And the Green Bay Packers have a commanding lead of a score of 35-3 to here. With 3.41 left in the ball game, this game is pretty much done. So now we're at the two-minute mark here. Second and six here for the for the 49ers here. Blaine Gabbert throwing a screen pass there. Throws a Hyde. Hyde gets the first down there and is able to move the chains now. Putting the ball now at the 44-yard line here for the 49ers. First and ten for the Niners. We'll see what they can do here. Blaine Gabbert drops back, fires, and he is able to connect there. Nice job there from Gabbert as he is able to connect there, I believe, there to Vernon Davis there for that catch. And Davis has been pretty quiet in this ball game. So now second and two here for the 49ers here. We'll see Blaine Gabbert drop back again, and this time passes to another receiver here. Nice catch 
as that's going to move the chains here now second or first and 10. First and 10, ball in the 42, minute 12 left here in the fir- in the fourth quarter here. Blaine Gabbard trying to drop back. That's going to be a complete pass. Hits B.J. Raji right in the face there. That's going to be now a second and 10 situation here. Ball in the 42-yard line. Blaine Gabbard throws up the middle there. Gets to Davis again. Nice catch. Now, this is something they should have been doing all, all throughout the game here as they do another th- pass play there, but an incomplete pass there as the tight end couldn't get a hold of that one. It's so now third and 10 now for the Niners here. 47 seconds left here in the fourth quarter here. Packers still have a commanding lead here. Blaine Gabbert goes back, throws this one, and it is picked off right there. And guess who it's by? Clayton Dixon again. Second interception in the ball game. Three tackles in the game. And that right there is going to be the game clincher right there. As the 49ers try to go down the field but could not get the catch or could not get the touchdown and get picked off there in their own end zone. So we'll see here with 41 seconds left here. We're going to just go ahead and run the ball here, try to run this clock here, force the uh, 49ers at least to run the time, run their timeouts so we can get this ball game over with. But with 30 seconds left, I don't think they're going to be able to do much as the Green Bay Packers go ahead one more time to get this king continue get this clock going as Lacey gets a nice run there breaks one tackle and finally wrapped up at the 36 and the Packers win this one of a final score of 35 to 3 final score there nice job there for Mr. Aaron Rodgers and company nice week here but not so good day here in San Francisco as uh to be quite honest if uh Kaepernick was playing this game I think it would be a lot closer but Rodgers and the uh, Packers do a great job there and show what they're all about here. So now Packers going into week five undefeated 4-0 and here. And we'll see what they can do here next week as we'll get ready to see who they play next week here in the game. But we'll see here the highlights from the ball game overall. Great game here for the Packers, especially from uh, comparing to last week what happened to them against the uh, Chiefs there, uh, Rodgers had a tough time getting in the end zone. Of course, he had two picks there. Uh, but this week, different story as he is able to uh, throw four touchdowns there in the ball game here and getting close to 300 yards passing. But we'll see here. There you see the postgame stats there and everything on the side of the Packers in this ball game. So there you see final score 35-3 as the 49ers unable to do really anything in offense at all uh, their offense was really struggling this week and the defense of the Packers just uh, were was pretty much alive and that's what coach McCarthy says he wants to see from week in to week out so we'll have to see if they can do that next week here as we'll get ready to see who they'll play here but uh, we'll take a look here and we'll see that uh, let's see Aaron Rodgers 17 of 25 294 yards, four touchdowns. Eddie Lacy, 22 carries, 149 yards, a touchdown, a fumble. Uh, John Kahn, four carries for 21 yards. Rodgers, one carry for 11 yards there in that ball game. Uh, had a nice rushing there from him. And then receiving, Randall Cobb, five receptions, 79 yards, touchdown. Richard Rodgers, three receptions, 61 yards, touchdown. Adams, one reception, 19 yards, a touchdown. And Montgomery, seven yards, uh, one reception, and a touchdown. So nice job there from the Packers offense. And, of course, the defense coming alive there. You guys can see the numbers for the defense here in just a bit. But overall, a great week for the Packers. And coming up here in the next uh, – actually, the next episode will be a Packers uh, show called Packer Talk, which we'll talk about the first four weeks of the season and get ready for week five when we get ready to play the Rams at home in that ball game. So we'll be at home against the Rams – in week five but uh coming up the next episode will be the first episode of a series called packer talk where we'll discuss what's going on around the league also with the packers and uh we'll see what the packers have done uh both pro and con when it comes to the first four weeks of the season so that is it you guys as always keep yourselves healthy and continue if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe for more uh green bay packers franchise here on the channel here on esg and net also uh, if you enjoy the video, please hit, hit that like button. That really helped me out. Let me know what you guys think about the series. And so far, playing this series with the Packers has been a lot of fun. So, 
Uh, definitely come on back for more Packers franchise here on Madden 16 here on ESGNet. And as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.